Hi, this is Mike Maslanka. What's behind me? It's President Lincoln. He's giving the Gettysburg Address. Since his birthday is coming up, I thought some persuasion lessons from the Gettysburg Address would be appropriate. Here are a few. Start with a powerful opening. In the movies, this is called an establishing shot. Who can forget the snowy opening of Fargo, or the wedding party in The Godfather, or the classic bar scene in Casablanca? Lincoln knew the power of an establishing shot. Here he is. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. No wasted throat clearing, just like a good trial lawyer who starts his opening statement with, we are here today because of X, Y, Z. Lincoln is also a master at using what is called the rule of three. Simply put, group examples in threes. It's just the right number. Two dilutes the message, four overwhelms it. Listen to the power, and in fact the poetry, in this grouping. We cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. Genius. Part of the address teaches us not to fear our feelings, but to embrace them. Lincoln walked the battlefield the day before the address and visited a site where a general who he personally knew was killed. The result was a last minute revision, powerfully written and powerfully delivered. The world can never forget what they did here. With the word did underlined by Lincoln and delivered, I imagine, with emphasis. Above all, Lincoln taught us simplicity of language, economy of expression, compression of ideas. Peggy Noonan, in one of her books, counsels us to use good, strong words to stand for good, simple propositions. Lincoln did so in a speech of only 271 words. He used the word we 10 times to impart a feeling of inclusion, here eight times, to bring the listener into the moment, and dedicate he used six times to invoke a call to action. Want to learn more? Check out Andrew Duglin's piece, What the Gettysburg Address Teaches Every Presenter. Finally, and this is crucial, a talk, any talk, is only as powerful as its call to action. Tell people what you want and the result if they give it to you. Here is President Lincoln. From these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and the government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth the greatest secular prayer ever written. I or any one of us can only say one word. Amen. This is Mike Maslanka at your desk.